So hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to discuss about a cool website called Val by Towny. So this is by uh, the company called Towny and their product is called Val. So the URL is val.town. So it is again kind of chatbot. So wherein the differentiation is you can create APIs, you can deploy API separately, you can create front end separately, you can deploy them separately, you can even create scripts, you can run cron jobs and there are so lot of templates over here. Now if I scroll down towards the bottom, if I click on trending vals, you will see what other people are creating and deploying it publicly. So if somebody has created get weather. So these are all vals that people are creating and you can see it uh, uh, like publicly and you can use them as well somebody has created something called is my website down now if i scroll down towards the last you get the newest val use cases api examples now if i click on api examples it shows you the list of popular apis that currently supports val for example you have airtable the blue sky chat gpt currency there are so much things of the these apis that you can use it either on creating your front-end application or deploying uh, or writing an HTTP uh, endpoint and deploying it in so Val. this is the one that is I am talking about. So it, it, it looks similar to any of the chatbot agent that you have seen either v0, uh, bold.new, chat GPT, anything like that. So here only you need to add your prompt to build something. For example, let's, let's build something uh, of a travel agent website, okay? I'm going to give a prompt and I want to see how uh, Val would turn up because the best thing about Val is it gives you very high limit of free usage. But if you go to other things like uh, like if you go to uh, v0.dev, bold.new, Claude, it will give you only very limited amount of credits for uh, per day uh, for your, your usage and then uh, it will get expired. But here the limit free limit tier is very high so you can build something consecutively over days so that is why it is it uses the uh, cloud 3.5 haiku model so i have pasted this prompt and let's see what it uh, what it uh, brings out to us so this is what it brought up to us and it's 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 very basic you can see it it creates uh, it created a very basic website where traveler says popular destination and uh, like whatsoever destination we have we can click on find my trip and it will i think it will show based on the date currently we only have four popular destinations so it's showing only there you have number of travelers so let's try to make this website more premium so i've updated the uh, prompt and let's see what it brings out to us okay so you can see now if i go ahead and refresh the same thing uh so it got a change a little bit it it now it has added a little bit background to it uh we need to work on this uh card for uh destinations explore now to make it a little bit more professional because it looks very basic kind of thing popular destination it's it's wider now but we need to work on it travel packages these all things color scheme are not up to the mark we need to work on it so i'll just keep, give more prompts and come back and see what all we can do so i have updated the prompt now now let's see uh, how does it behave and what are the things that it changes on the website so now this website looks somewhat like this i'm gonna refresh so it looks something like this. It has added colors and it fixed majority of the issues that we were facing. Now, if you see, it looks much more cleaner. All things, all elements are working and the colors to the buttons, the cards are now all correct and there are all styles attached to it. So I can make the this landing page of the website more cleaner by adding uh, if I click on destinations, it's taking me to destinations about us, contact info. So these all are working. I can make this look much more premium and add more features to it. Like uh, the the footer items, uh, these, this is this is not aligned. So these are minimal things that I can uh, fix so it. Now I will go ahead and create a small uh, API endpoint just to show you that you can also deploy the API endpoint from your end and you can use on your front-end application. So here towards the side, I'm going to create on start new chat again. Now I'm going to close this. 
now i'm gonna write a prompt to create uh, to create me a https endpoint that fetches me a uh, weather uh, if i pass the name of the city or the location in the query program so this is the updated prompt that i've given and let's see what endpoint it creates so it created a website uh, i mean the endpoint but which takes in here it is there it asks for the latitude and the longitude but we don't want that we we want to just give them the location wherein it will pick up the latitude longitude automatically and fetches us the uh, data for that particular location so we will update the prompt So I've updated the prompt again just to just to give an example of what exactly we want. We want just to provide the name of the location and it to fetches and it to fetch us back with the uh, response with the data set. So I think it has created. Let's go ahead and check out how it how it is now. So we just need to add the query param over here. I'm going to copy this and then I'm going to click on this and here I'm going to add the location query param. Now I have hit enter. Now you can see it fetches me the location data for the weather, the weather data set for that particular location. So location name is Hyderabad, the country is India, latitude, longitude, the temperature. Now if you want more data from inside the weather, then you can add more stuff here and tell that you can please provide me this or that in the weather data set for example let's create uh, i mean try something different i will try kolkata and see what it brings us now if you see we tried kolkata and it brought us calcutta which is same india latitude longitude and the time weather and wind speed and everything so now you have a working uh, API endpoint that is already deployed and you can you can use this endpoint in your front-end applications and just query for different location and it will return you the data set for the particular location as a response and deploy it and you can share with others so whatever uh, you are doing you can share it with others as in in public or in uh, private whichever you want to so just try it out and let me know in the comments how it goes for you